We have to beware of zombie microbes. All you need to know about this brain-eating amoeba plaguing Texas. This is not the first time. We have them in the water of the Gulf as well, and now they seem to be in Texas wreaking havoc there. 2020 would have been incomplete. We didn't have this deadly amoeba causing severe infection for which there has so far been no effective treatment. If you think zombies aren't real, you're wrong. The discovery in the 1970s of hundreds of people across the world that have uh, been victim and died from an invisible zombie that destroys brain tissue in only a matter of a few days. The good news is that this zombie, amoeba, has returned. Good news? Well, we wouldn't call it good. On the 27th of September, Texas Governor Greg Abbott issued a disaster declaration in Brazoria County after the state's Environmental Commission discovered a brain-eating amoeba in three of the 11 tests of the county's water supply. Residents have been put under a boil water order. So you have to boil your water. It's a good idea but it, because, it, obviously, there are always some kind of small uh, zoophytes in there. Uh, even if we live in New I used to live in New York. We used to, you know, the water, a quarter of the water there is recycled. We had gone to, um, where was it? It was somewhere in uh, Long Island City, the, the water recycling plant, because, you know, we did that for a field trip on one of our biology classes one Saturday morning, and it was terrible. Uh, the, I mean, you know, the water that they come, I don't want to say where it comes from, you know where it comes from, from the uh, our toilets and our bathroom, they recycle even that, and then it becomes drinking water, and that you have to boil that water because there's things in there that shouldn't be in there. If you had a mic, we, have, we had dissecting microscopes to see what was in the water. Anyway, we should be boiling our water. That's a good idea. Boil the water, and if you put, put, put it in clean... Um, glass bottles and uh, if you want keep it you know stored in your uh, refrigerator and use it that way now residents have been put under the boil water order the governor warned warning came after a six-year-old boy died earlier this month after contracting the brain eating microbe this amoeba this is called nile aglaria folari a single-celled organism occurs naturally can be found anywhere around the world it likes high temperatures it can be found in rivers and lakes, geothermal water such as hot springs, geothermal drinking water sources, poorly maintained swimming pools with minimum levels of chlorine and unchlorinated and soil as well. There is no rapid test to detect the amoeba. It can take weeks before officials find it in an infected area. Now what happens when an individual contracts it? Once it gets into the body, it travels to the brain and causes severe infection called primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, PAM for short, the disease leads to the destruction of the brain tissue. And these are the symptoms. In its early stages, PAM symptoms look similar to those of bacterial meningitis, such as headache and fever. Later symptoms include a stiff neck, lack of attention to surroundings and people, loss of balance, hallucinations and seizures. And in the end, PAM leads to a swelling of the brain and death and most people die within a week after contracting the microbe. Who's at risk? Everyone. But children, early, elderly people, individuals with a weak immune system are particularly vulnerable. And uh, what is the cure? Is there a cure? According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, there is no effective treatment for PAM, and the fatality rate is over 97%. Only four individuals out of 145 known infected people in the United States between 1962 and 2018 have survived. The CDC said one person survived in Mexico, and a report said that in 2018 a girl from the Spanish city of Toledo survived after contracting Nael Aglaria Folari. Now, how can one avoid the infection? Despite the grim picture, the risk of Nael Aglaria Folari infecting is very low. In the past 10 years, U.S. has only had 34 reported cases. The amoeba is deadly only if it enters the body through the nose. People cannot get infected if they drink infected water, and it cannot be spread from one person to the other. The peak season for the deadly microbe is hot months. Avoid swimming in warm lakes. If you can't, then use nose clips. You may think twice before visiting Texas, according to the CDC. The southern state had the highest number of braiding amoeba cases in the past decade. Now, most recent case in the U.S., 2019, a 10-year-old girl died from PAM after contracting the brain-eating amoeba in Brazos River, Texas. 
in 2018, a 29-year-old man from the microbe after visiting a surf park in Texas. In 2016, a 16-year-old boy miraculously recovered from it after contracting the breeding bacteria while swimming at a private property in Broward County in Florida. This is by Max Gorbachev on Sputnik News. So all of you there, please be very careful. Boil your water before using it. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.